you know, the most perfect video game in the world, but, you know, that's just ridiculously high standards. This game, while lacking anything resembling a title screen in the least, is in fact definitely worth your time, and I am here to demonstrate that today. I won't give up. Yeah. Alright, you know, some people might find tenacity to be quite admirable in situations such as this. However, in some certain situations, it merely prolongs the inevitable, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say that you're probably not gonna be able to take this thing on, but seeing as how we have no other choice, Banzai! <laughs> Shoddy workmanship, my one weakness! Alright, what about you? What have you got to say? Thank you, Shu. I'm sure my parents are cheering from heaven. Mm, yeah, knowing what I'm a knowing what I know is that about to happen. Yeah, they're probably trying to warn us, but, uh, the thought's there. If the back in your mind, you th you might possibly recognize Kluke's voice, that's because she's voiced by Tara Strong, and if you don't know who Tara Strong is, you've definitely heard her voice in the very least. She's most well known for being absolutely everything everywhere. Like, oh my goodness, her resume is off the friggin' chain. And it was at this point I realized... Wow, I really picked up the right game off the bargain shelf at GameStop. <laughs> and that makes five times we should have died today. That's a personal record. Fat rats like to screech at you. Also, I think they can fart really loudly and it will summon their friends and allies in anywhere within the radius. Basically, the Nintendo Capri son of the Animal Kingdom. So kind as to give it a gentle nudge as to make sure Kluke is able to take care of it. The scorpion attacks, and then... Finish him! Fatality. And that, my friends, is how you take care of the scorpion. Also, I do believe... It is finally time, you guys. You guys, I have one simple question to ask all of you right now. Are you ready to rock? I say, are you ready to rock? Well, hold on to your mind, tonsils, and hair, because I'm about to blow them out of the freaking ozone layer. Because, let me tell you, things are about to get crazy. Hey, somebody help. Hello, random sheep man. What are you doing here? There's a huge creature there. Can you do something about it? What huge creature? Huge creature? I hope it doesn't- I hope it's not accompanied by some really sweet rock music! What's that sound? That's the sound of one of the most amazing music tracks ever put to video games in the world of ever! I present to you... AWESOMENESS! Look at the size of that thing! There's no time to ogle at it, we've gotta fight it somehow! And he's gonna trample us! At least we're getting trampled to the world's greatest song ever! Oh, that did a considerable amount of damage. Don't look far away with that creep! And the awesome song has returned! Oh my god, Pikachu has gone feral! This is not something I anticipated, let me tell you. Alright, fine. Maru Maru, if that is your real name, when we all know it is in fact Pikachu. Let us do battle! Huzzah! Now, where did he go? <laughs> He's bright orange and is wearing a salad bowl on his head. Pardon me if I think we'll be able to find him relatively easily. Yeah, I think we probably should try to help, but in a moment. First, I must say no. Or is he just gonna keep getting wailed on? Yeah, okay, fine. I just want- All I wanted was to heal myself first! Oh well, at least I have the world's most amazing song on my side! Huh? I thought they hated each other. When this baby hits 88 miles an hour, we're gonna see some serious rustling! Okay, come on in. Oh, alright, I guess you're just going to show us what's wrong. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's see, what's, what's all the hubbub about? Can't be anything that serious. I mean, honestly. 
Oh, half your village is dying of the plague. Yep, that would do it. Alright, firstly, Maromaru has joined our party, and that is fantastic. Now we have a team of four, which is going to make us even more deadly in combat. Secondly, seriously, the Forest of Death? That's seriously a place in this world? And we really have to go. Of course, that's the only place the plant would ever be, is in the Forest of Death. Why not? Sure. The deepest part, too. Aha! Those look like they could be something important or useful. Checkpoint! You know what that means! Apparently it means we're gonna do really epic twirls. Stand in a place! Fantastic. Way to go, Jiro. If this whole being a nerd thing doesn't work, ballet's really gonna work for you. Anyway, alright. But with this mighty music playing in the background oh so very triumphantly. I was just a little surprised it had no effect. Oh, that's strange. With this epic music playing also oh very triumphantly in the background, nothing you do could ever possibly stop my might. Let's do this thing! What's the point of having five characters that all do the exact same thing? Crap! Just spoiled those five. You know what? Whatever. You saw the title card of the video. You saw the title card of the series. You know how many people are in this game. No one's hiding that anymore. Really? Then everybody's gonna get well tomorrow morning, right? You're sure, right? 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 Dude, she doesn't know. But then again, she can't say that she's doubting, otherwise, uh... Put on a good face. Just, just, just say yes. Just roll with it. Yes. They're gonna be fine. If they're all dead by morning, then we, I think we can run out of here, but... And they, they've got really tiny legs. They're not gonna be able to chase us. Just saying. Just saying! We have a, we have a backup plan if this goes belly up. Jiro? Hello, hello. Kluke and Jiro aren't here. Where could they have gone? Oh, 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 I wonder indeed. What could they possibly have to talk about in private? Yes, I'm not curious at all. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just going to slink off and see if I can perhaps get a little bit of information. I'm just being a good friend, you see. I just want to make sure they're okay. They could be hurt. There's no way at all they're doing something romantically inclined. And I will not, I will not be the chump who doesn't get to see that. Soap opera action, I demand it! I don't care how awkward and stilted it might be. I demand to know. Because come on. We all saw how Jiro looked at it, looked at Kluke. We all know there's something something there. Come on, Shu. If there's anything I'm good at, it's prying in my nose into places that really doesn't belong. Wouldn't they be over at the town hall? Oh. I guess I, I guess they could be helping people who are sick, not um uh, not not doing relationship. You know what? Maybe I'm just kind of an idiot. Dance, my people. Show your gratitude. So this might be awkward, but do you establish a hierarchy through the size of your hats? Because that's something I'm genuinely wondering, and uh, I can't think of a better time to ask. This is a direction we haven't been, and that would imply good things. Well, okay, our buck is behind us. Or as he likes to call himself, Chapuk! I'm gonna assume it is, because otherwise that makes no sense whatsoever. Alright. Amazingly enough, I've still not gotten tired of this music. It is still just as amazing as the first time I've heard it. These tiger monsters hit like freaking dump trucks full of cement. And I would be correct! Alrighty, Aphrodite! Yep! And that is one passed out Kluke. Say, hey, Luke, what do you got to say about the situation? It's nice to have a family, is it? Oh, what? Well, if my mother and father were alive, I'm sure they would have been just as worried about me too. Yeah, probably. Wow. Wow, Kluke. Seriously. I thought your name was Kluke, not Debbie Downer of the Depression Squad. You can't really give names to everything, because that would just kind of ruin the joke. If it's even a joke, it's just something I do. My existence is a joke, does that count? Let's go, my fellow magic users. Yeah! Right! I am okay with all of this! Oh, we have the full team assembled! But I think he's stuck on Zola. She is pretty cool. Cool is one adjective you could use to describe her? 
I could think of seven others. You too. That I will not state in this video. You better get some rest. I'm sure you could probably think of some yourself. The weather is nice today. You mean the weather? Oh, mine words, you say. There are words for me, lean, fear, fear, or we. You never heard of it, Borky, Horky, Borky, Dorky, Dorkison. You need to go get some cream cheese stirs. Freaking Swedish chef up in there. All right, fine. Well, ain't that about an awesomeness. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, the people here have been lovely, and... Why are these normal pigeons? The tigers have four eyes, can bite through steel, but these are just, these are just pigeons. That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, just, just, the enemy ship is under our control. Now to board it. Aerial troops at the ready! Sir! I'm sure our lucky Nene has absolutely no outer defense mechanisms on his mothership. Otherwise, this would not be going nearly as well. It's our mouse like he's letting us do this. Mm. I like her boots. I said boots! B O O T! Not what you thought I said. Of this size, there's gotta be more than one eternal engine. I guess we're specifically looking for people that look like they'd be from our town or something. Shu, you're stronger than the Blade Masters. You really can't judge people by their appearances, huh? Well, I can judge you by yours, and you look like a nerd! So how about that, you jerk? All right, how about you? You look like some sort of gypsy woman. Yeah, okay, that was, that was that had a point. Thanks. Yo, sperm target head man. What about you? Thank you, you son of a. Do you realize the things I've done, the things I have accomplished, and you're still wearing the stupid hat? Why all around? Just hate that guy. Then just go eat some damn candy, okay? <laughs> there are more important things. That Is that a second sperm hat man, or did he move? Oh my god, they're multiplying! Why? You were all fantastic. You've shown your adults. You're free to come and go as you like. Oh, is that so? Is this a bar? Dude, regardless of what we've accomplished, we're still underage. True, thanks to you and your friends, we have all made it through. Yes, indeed. I am the greatest. Oh my god, is that another- SO MANY SPERM TARGET HAT MAN! The bodyguard service is shut down for now. Man's still gotta eat, right? Okay, so apparently, these men all work for the same agency, which is a bodyguard company, and apparently, one of the stipulations to have that job is to wear that unbelievably stupid hat. I mean, come on, I'm a collector of hats, and I think that's an incredibly stupid hat. Uh, in our kingdom, a ring adorning that finger signifies marriage. But your majesty, this is the only finger it will fit on. That wasn't the cutscene I was talking about. That one's actually kind of charming and actually kind of adorable. This is what I was talking about! Huh. I was wondering where Zola was going this late at night. They're in a good mood, huh? Hey, maybe I should give Kluke a ring, too. What? I mean, I know how the king feels. Zola's his friend, right? You might have missed the point. Wait, shoo! <laughs> Sigh. All right, this is the ring that Jerome made for Kluke. A close examination reveals an inscription. I'll always be by your side. You can always confide in me. Shoe's ring. This is the ring that Shoe made for Kluke. A close examination reveals a rough inscription. Cheer up, Kluke. I'll always be there to protect you. All right, farewell. Enjoy the scene. I'm out. I've heard of firewalls, but this is ridiculous! Alright! He walked up to us, asked us what that was, Shu said he does not know, and then they immediately dropped the topic and never speak of it ever again. We're never going to bring up why, how, when, or what, like, any of the questions. A giant flaming horse appeared out of nowhere and attacked us. And nobody seems confused by that. It's like, yeah, that's not even worth raising an eyebrow, apparently. That, that's probably has something to do with that big thing at all. Does this guy have a neck beard made of guns? This guy has a neck beard made out of guns! That's... 
That is so unbelievably stupid, it circles the Earth and becomes completely amazing. Oh my god, that is incredible. Who designed that thing? Uh, sir, do you, where do you want to, where do you want to put this wide array of, of machine guns on this newly designed robot? Do you think we should put him in his hands, or maybe his knees, or even his chest? Those would be very, very useful and capable places to put the cans. No, Baldadash, I say! We must shove them into his neck hole! Uh, sir, wouldn't that look kind of stupid? I care not for your cosmetic quabbles! Put the machine guns inside his neck! And then they did it! And now, it looks like he's, looks like he's wearing a fez! He's got, he's just twirling it! He, he's twirling it with his hand and stopping it with the other one! This is the s most unbelievably stupid design for a robot I've ever seen! And his little fez has got like little blade- No, his fez has little tiny guns on it too! Oh my god! This is incredible! Oh man, hang on, uh, before I kill this thing, I gotta know what this thing is called! No, seriously, what did they name this robot? He is the Sentinel Mecha Robobody, apparently. Okay. Look, I don't know... I don't know how drunk the scientist that dreamt that thing up was. But that was a mercy killing if there ever was one. <laughs> that was just stupid. A hypothesis that ended up being, in fact, true. You might think that's stupid and unnecessary, and then I'd say, shut up, you're stupid and unnecessary. All right? Open up the gate and run away, and he can't get through. Okay, he can get through! That is the face of pure horror! <laughs> Point is, you're outside, so shut up. Little girl, what's up? I want to play somewhere outside of town. Sharp rocks probably hide good stuff. That is Darwinism at work. You shall die a painful death, and you shall be culled from the human race. This will keep you from breeding and making even more stupid people. This is the way the world works. Or at least the way it should work. And there is Zola sleeping. In case that's something you wanted to see. If it is, you're kind of creepy and you should probably leave. Just saying it seems a little unlikely. Nextly, he threw it down a shaft and said, If you don't like the barrier, go find the piece and fix it. And then nobody did? He caused a problem for you, and then told you how you could fix it, and never bothered. If there isn't a 15, like a 15,000 foot Hydra with 30,000 heads that all breathe sulfuric acid down there guarding that chunk of, uh, that chunk of metal, you are by far, without a doubt, some of the stupidest people I have ever seen in a video game. Oh my god. There's some other famous magician, Copperfield, Blaine, um, that one guy who was popular for a while, to, but is long since stopped being relevant. Chris Angel, that guy, him, yeah, he was a magician, I guess, I don't know. More like a weird guy that liked to mess around with people on the street. Anyway, I think I've gone off on a few tangents today, and I don't think I really need to go on anymore, but at the same time, I can't promise it's not going to happen again. Oh, hey, checkpoint, time for a bottle. Are we going to at least get the awesome music? I miss it. I feel like it's been forever since we've had it. What? He's a machine, but with a skull? Like, even the characters at this point are like, well... This doesn't make any sense whatsoever! Are we in space? You know what, I don't even care. Let's just move on. I've questioned the logic of this game enough. We have to take out the leader. But... which one is the leader? I guess we'll just have to rip it apart bot by bot and find out. I got my music back? I can do this. Yeah. Half electric, half earth. And it's just here for the sake of being here, apparently.
Still love this music. It never, ever gets old. You really would think glass would be an incredibly impractical material to make weapons of war with, but as it turns out, it's unbelievably effective, and it's proven that time and time again, honestly. So, uh, if there's anything you learn from this, never underestimate anything. You can pretty much kill anybody with anything if you try hard enough. Remember what I said about glass being significantly more deadly than you would have ever thought? Yep, this is pretty much the best possible example I can think of right here. Now I know what you guys are thinking. If you were at all looking at this game and possibly thinking to yourself, you know, this game has been pretty cool and everything, but you know what it's really been missing? A cyborg T-Rex with ear piercings. Well, here you go. This is, this is in fact exactly what you're getting. Oh, and uh, if you thought that was weird, well, if you'd like to know, he just took a giant poop and that poop came to life and now his poop is fighting alongside him. You might think with all of my years of playing video games that I'd be used to that sort of thing, but I've never in my entire life ever seen a uh, enemy in a video game poop and then have that poop come to life and then try to eat me. I do not know who came up with this idea, but they are bonkers.